what is up everybody welcome back to the channel this is part three um if you haven't watched the previous two videos you guys definitely take a look at those i'm going to link those in the description um part one is how to set up your ads your business manager okay there's a difference you got your ads manager you got your business manager um in part one of this series i showed you how to set up your business manager and i went over the differences on um ads manager versus business manager and then the advantages of a business manager as well so check check that one out link is in the description that's part one part two is we then took our facebook pixel and we added it to two pages so these are the two pages that i'm using as this example um, we added our facebook pixel so part two of the video was how to do that um, we we added it to our landing page and then we also added the facebook pixel to our uh, thank you page um, okay and I walk you through in detail how to do that that's part two so that video is in the description this is part three okay now what I'm gonna do with this in this video is I'm gonna simply show you how simple it can be um, to set up custom audiences and why you absolutely have to be setting up custom audiences okay so and I'm gonna show you just pure example um, in, in, in A to Z I'm gonna take you by the hand and show you in full detail and and real real live examples so let's say we're here in the newsfeed right as we scroll through the newsfeed um let's come across a sponsored ad let's just see what everyone's posting and then let's see a sponsored ad right here okay so this company right here this simple trick will change the way you shop at aliexpress forever okay so this is a sponsored ad and anytime you see the word sponsored that is a facebook ad when we click on learn more Let's see where it takes us. They're taking us to this one single page where um, you have the headline, you have the text, and then you have this button right here. This, I'm telling you, man, this is, it's so crazy how I landed on this page, how I clicked and saw this random ass ad and happened to use this one as an example because this is exactly what you do not do. Um, holy shit who the hell are these people Rakatoon Ra Rakatoon you guys need some Facebook 101 training man shout out to Rakatoon but you guys absolutely are burning money right now here are the importance here here are the important examples of 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 custom audiences and we're going to use this rookie ass Rakatoon shout out to Rakatoon no disrespect but damn bro you're burning freaking bread right now and I'm going to show you why as I see this ad I click on it I come over here to this single page there's no Facebook pixel on it. Again, that's video number two. So that link is in, the, is in the description. Watch that video. There's no Facebook pixel. And because there's no Facebook pixel, Rakatoon does not have a custom audience set up. Now, that's what we're going to be focusing on this video, how to set up a custom audience. And I'm going to explain why the, the custom audience is so freaking important when running ads. Okay, so here's the deal. As I click on the ad and I come here, because there's no Facebook pixel tracking the, the, the visit, there's no custom audience being built. A custom audience are those who land here. You're gonna have X amount of people land here and you're gonna have X amount of people leave. That's your bounce rate, right? You have people that come to the page and you have, and you have the majority of people that are actually going to leave, okay? Um, those are people that should be going into a custom audience under page visitors. They're people who came to the page but did not click the button, okay? They did not move on to the next step, okay? So, and in this case, again, burning freaking money. I guess they're, tr they're just trying to get us to, to download an app. But, but where they're messing up is the fact that they're not retargeting those who are landing on the landing page there's no retargeting there's no retargeting because there's no facebook pixel and there's no custom audience okay and i know that i know there's no custom audience because there's no facebook pixel you cannot create a custom audience unless you have your facebook pixel on the page so this is exactly what not to do you have to have your facebook pixel you have to create a custom audience around those who visit this page but do not proceed because those are people who you want to show your next ad to. So this is a rookie ass mistake. Um, these guys are just burning money. Let me show you another example of someone who, who somewhat knows what the hell they're doing. Let's scroll down. Let's scroll down. 
and let's go down to let's see if we can find a random ad okay here's samsung here's sponsored let's see let's see where they take me okay so this is interesting because this is a full-blown billion dollar company they blow money just to freaking blow it they're running ads to a full full-blown website gosh man someone hit these people up someone hit these people up we're talking about a billion dollar okay there's the pixel i was like shit they're not freaking okay multiple pixels there you go samsung okay my bad internet was slow on my end okay i get it yeah they're 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 they know what they're doing they're 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 pixeling everybody they're creating custom audiences of everyone who lands here um and and that's how you retarget so so for example i come to the page look they got their pixel firing they got all kinds of um um activities being tracked so a custom audience I click on the ad, I come here, and it doesn't matter where I click. Let's say I click on Galaxy 5, 5G. I click on Galaxy 5G, and look, the pixel should still be following me. This right here should light up here. Um, shit, that's where they're dropping the ball. Someone hit these guys up. Someone hit these guys up. Oh, there we go. There we go. My bad, Samsung. My bad. Okay, it just took a little a little while to, to 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 load. Okay, that's fine. Perfect example. Look, these guys know what the hell they're doing. Obviously, Samsung freaking multi billion dollar. Oh hell yeah, their 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 stuff is firing, firing. Here's a custom audience, man. I clicked on Galaxy 5G. They have their Facebook Pixel tracking. They're creating custom audiences of everyone who's landing here. And then when I go scroll through my news feed later on today possibly i can see another ad of samsung regarding the 5g of what i clicked on very specific very very specific i didn't click on gift ideas i didn't click on explore i clicked on galaxy fg they have my face they have their facebook pixel tracking that activity they're creating custom audiences of every single link because the custom audience is built around the link so this is 5g right products so Anything I click on, man, anything I click on, if I click on TV and audio and I come down here and I click on sound bars, that pixel should be following me, okay? And, 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 and I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. They for sure know what the hell they're doing. Um, they're probably hiring the best Facebook advertisers on the planet. And, and, you know, shout out to these guys. But every single activity, every, every page, I, every button, everything I click on, it's being tracked. And so now, again, when it comes to, very detailed targeting these guys can turn around and simply create a custom audience of everyone who landed on sound bars and then a freaking second later as i scroll through and continue to scroll through i could possibly see another samsung ad on that 5g or on that sound bar now i probably won't see it this second but if they have their their stuff really put together i should have saw it again i should have saw it again because these guys should be running all kinds of ads at all times, 24 seven, given their budget, right? Billion dollar company. They probably have a multi-million dollar, you know, ad budget. Um, and so as I scroll through, whether it's right now or whether it's later on, I'll start to see ads on that, on, on what I clicked on. Okay. Those are custom audiences, you guys, those are custom audiences. But as you, you know, can tell from that, that first one, Racketeer or whatever the hell that was, they couldn't track me. There was no pixel on the page. Therefore, there was no custom audience being built and they're burning money because that's where your money's at. Your money is, 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 is after the click. A lot of people run Facebook ads and think that, that it's all about making the sell on that one ad, making the sell from that one click. It's like, dude, it doesn't happen that way. It's all about the retargeting. It's all about creating custom audiences and getting back in front of your warm market, retargeting people who are engaging, re, re, retargeting people who are landing on your pages um, and, just, and, just, and just building that rapport, getting people indoctrinated with your content because they're engaging with it. So therefore you keep retargeting them and they keep seeing you and eventually they end up buying. Right. They end up buying if you're selling or they end up opting in if you're offering something, you know, and, and you're just looking for an opt in, whatever it may be. Um, I should continue to see Samsung ads from this point on. Right. From from whether it's today or tomorrow, I should I should see another Samsung ad for sure. Um, because look over here. Bam. Perfect example. Look at that. You guys right over here, right over here. Save it to 650 on that 5G that I clicked on. Look, if I click on it again, 
Let's see if it takes me to the 5G. Um, let's see, where's it taking me? It is taking me to trade in and save. Bam, 5G. Look at that, you guys. Perfect freaking example. Hallelujah. Praise God. This is a great freaking. I hope you guys are getting value. If you guys are seeing what I'm freaking throwing at you, if you're picking up what the hell I'm dropping, please click like. Please click like. That's the most you can do for me right now. If you're not subscribing, whatever. If you're not going to comment below and say, damn, David, freaking fire. If you're not going to do that shit, just freaking politely click like. Can you just give me a like on this one? This is exactly how you do it, you guys. It's all about that retargeting. These guys straight ran another ad right away, and they have it going constantly. That's why I saw it again. That's why I saw it right away because it's not like they ran another ad right away. They have the ads already constantly running. They have ads that are running to specific custom audiences 24-7, and, and it just makes it look like they continue to run new ads to me, but they already have the ad set, right? And, and, and they know who's landing on, on, on which specific links, which again, those are custom audiences. So I clicked on 5G. I was now part of that custom audience because their Facebook pixel picked it up. And then boom, right away, they show me another ad on the 5G. And they're even showing me some type of trade in and save type of, type of promotion, right? That right there, you guys, that's where your money's at. Your money is in the retargeting. And after talking to thousands and thousands of business owners since 2016 on this exact topic, most people try to, one, try to run one ad and think they're going to get rich. They try to run one ad and think they're going to freaking capture a shitload of leads or make a ton of sales. It doesn't happen that way, dude. It happens in the retargeting. You have to be creating these custom audiences. You have to be retargeting these custom audiences, and you have to continue to stay in front of these people. All right? So you got to take cold market and turn it into a warm market by showing them more ads. Okay? So... Let's get to it. Hopefully that right there, you guys, was a freaking good explanation of, of what the hell, you know, is really going on and why it's so freaking important. So here's what we're going to do. We're in the home. We're in the news feed. All we're going to do is come over here to the left. We're going to look for ad center. We can, we can get to the ads manager from there. If we come down, click on ad center, click on all ads. Right here, we're looking for ads manager. Bam, that's where we're looking to go. We're looking to, to, to run everything through the ads manager. Stop trying to do it from your cell phone. Stop trying to boost posts from your Facebook business page. Come into the ads manager. This is where all the magic happens. This is where you run the Facebook ad. Um, this is also where you run your Instagram ads as well. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to set up custom audiences. Again, yesterday, um, in the you know again, that's part two. That The link is in the description. We set up our pixel yesterday, okay? So... Today, because my pixel is now on these two pages, the landing page and the thank you page, right? There's our pixel. Um, now I can turn around and create custom audiences around these specific links. Um, and here's how we're going to do it. So now that we're in the ads manager, we're going to click on these dots right here, and we're going to come down to audiences. Okay, this is a Facebook custom audience, and you're going to start building custom audiences around everything, around people who go to your landing page, around people who uh, visit the thank you page, around people who visit different pages within your funnel, um, around people who are watching your videos. So if you're running video ads, which I highly, 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 rec highly recommend and highly encourage you to start putting out video um, Facebook ads, you can start creating custom audiences around people who watch your video, which is so, so important. So um, in this case, we're going to do these two pages. Okay. So um, let's go back over here. We're going to click on the first one, create a custom audience, and we're going to build this one around a website. So again, I might as well just explain these ones. Anyone who engages with your Instagram account, I can put all those people in a bucket and retarget them. Custom audience, Facebook page, events, video, lead form, um, website, customer list. These are the ones that I really focus on. I focus on website. A customer list is any email list. So if I have an email list of, of everyone who unsubscribed, I could take that list, upload it to Facebook, create a custom audience, and make sure that I always exclude that audience from seeing future ads because they've already unsubscribed. I don't want to show them another. I don't want to show them an ad at all, right? They don't want anything to do with me. I don't want anything to do with them. I'm spending money showing ads to people who unsubscribe from my email list. I don't want to do that. So I would create a custom audience and just exclude them from ever seeing an ad. Or I can create a custom audience of 
everyone who opted in to a specific campaign, or I can create a custom audience around a customer list of all of my buyers. So all of my customers who have ever bought anything from me, if I have them in an email list, I can upload that list around a customer list, create a custom audience, and I can retarget them in the future. Um, or again, if it's a customer list and I don't want to show them ads, I can exclude them from seeing another ad because I created a customer list, um, which is a custom audience, right? So normally what I focus on is website, customer list, video, Instagram, Instagram account, and Facebook page, okay? So, so in this case, with this example, I'm going to do it around website, okay? And all we're going to do is we're going to simply grab the link from the two sites, okay? So this first one, and all you gotta do is grab this part right here. You don't need the www, you don't need the HTTPS, you just need this part right here, okay? The full URL. And we're gonna bring it over here, and we're gonna go down to people who visited specific web pages. Okay, and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do within the, in the last 30 days, you can go as high as 180, but People that visited my site, you know, freaking 180 days ago, four months ago, or whatever that is, um, I don't really care to target them. Like, if you've seen it within the past 30 days, then then I'll I'll continue to get back in front of you. Okay, so there is where I paste in the link. And again, as I tried to explain it earlier, you want to retarget. This is the this is the opt-in page, right? This is the opt-in page. So as people come here, you're gonna have X amount of people that leave. And that's what I was trying to explain earlier. They come here to the landing page. They saw your ad. They came to the landing page, but they didn't opt in. They did not schedule a demo for whatever reason. They left the page without even, without even scheduling, right? Without even clicking the button. But they got there. That, was a, that person is somewhat interested, or, at least, or, or maybe they're just trying to hack you, or maybe they're just clicking for the hell of it. But I don't really click, peep, click ads for the hell of it. Like I'll click ads to maybe hack people and see what they're doing, different people in my, in my industry. But if I'm targeting a, a specific type of person who's not in my industry, they're, they're a consumer, they're a potential customer of mine, and they're clicking and they're coming to the landing page, but they didn't opt in. That's a custom audience. Those are web page visitors. Those are people that didn't opt in, but, 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 but are, are now warm. They came to my landing page. They know of me. So I'm going to create a custom audience and retarget them in the future. Right, so that's this first one right here is 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 web page visitors, and we're gonna call this one landing landing page visitors. And and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be very specific, very specific, and I'm gonna put only. And let me explain only. Okay, landing page visitors only. Okay, now. You got two types of, 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 of landing page visitors, okay? And, and again, this applies to anything. This applies to your business. This applies to any business. And, and we're talking about just the landing page and the thank you page. Let's just focus on these two basic pages, your lead capture page and your thank you page, okay? There's two types of people that will ever come across your landing page. One type of person, person number one, is a person that comes to the landing page they see your ad, they click learn more, they come to your landing page and they leave, just like I showed you, right? They left for whatever reason. That's one person number one. Person number two is the obvious, the one who comes there and opts in. That's the person that opts in and goes to your, goes to your thank you page. Both people, two different types of people, one opted in, one didn't, didn't. But both people fit the criteria of this. Both people fit the criteria of landing page visitors, right? Both people, would you guys agree, right? Give me a like. Give me a like if you guys will both agree. Both people fit the criteria. However, both people are not the same. Person number two actually opted in. Person number two landed on the thank you page, right? So what we're going to do in this case, we want to be very specific. These are landing page visitors only. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the link for the thank you page. And I'm going to exclude anyone right here, exclude people. And I'm going to go specific, keep it at 30. And I'm going to exclude anyone who has landed on that page. Okay. Very specific, very specific. And this right here, I name it landing page visitors only. And then I create audience. This right here, you guys, 
is a great audience to continue to retarget from ad number two and on. Okay, so as you build this audience, ad number two, ad number three, ad number four, as you continue this campaign, you're going to have a ton of people that keep getting added to this audience because you're going to have a ton of people that click on your ad, go to your landing page, but don't fill it out for whatever reason. That happens all, all across the board, no matter what kind of business you're, you're running. You have X amount that land there and leave, and then, you have, you, and then you have X amount that actually opt in. Okay, so this specific audience right here is something you'll always retarget, is an audience that you'll always retarget. Why not? You always want to get in front of people who are landing on your stuff, right, but have not uh, fulfilled the action, who have not opted in in this case, okay? Always retarget that page visitor, landing page visitors, okay? That's how you set up a, a full legit one, um, being very detailed, very specific. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to create an audience of everyone who landed on the thank you page. Who are people who landed on the thank you page? People who opted in, aka leads, right? This is the page we're trying to get people to. As we run conversion ads, as we run Facebook ads, and we're trying to capture leads, our ultimate goal is to get them here. So again, we have our Facebook pixel on this page, which is gonna give us the ability to create a custom audience. So we're gonna go custom audience, and we're gonna drop, hit the drop down specific. We're gonna keep it at 30, and we're gonna simply paste in that link. And we're, there's no one to exclude, so we're going to simply come down here and name this one, um, 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 what's the damn, pro remote patient monitoring, that's the campaign, that's the product, remote patient monitoring, 100 plus, I'll even get even more detailed with it, 100 plus, and this is going to be leads leads so let's put this in the beginning leads this right here you guys very 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 important leads okay so this right here let's create audience hit done now here's what we're working with now we have our landing page visitors only custom audience those are people we're going to always retarget with every ad from this point on as long as it's relevant to that exact product right and then we have our leads, our leads. That right there, you guys, is a custom audience that you'll always exclude in future ads. So as I go run ad number two, ad number three, ad number four, ad number five, as I run every ad, I'm going to always exclude because that audience will continue to grow. It's going to continue to, to increase the more ads I run. So that's an audience that I'm going to always exclude from my actual targeting. Okay. And so. And let me just show you where, where, that, where, where, where that even happens. So as we come in here to the ads manager, click the dots, click on ads manager. Now we have our two custom audiences, audiences set up. Now there's one more step we have to complete, which will be video number four. So make sure you catch the next video. That video is coming up. Um, that'll be tomorrow's video, depending on when you're watching it. It's, 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 it's video number four in the series, and I'm going to link everything in, in the description. But... This, the next video is, is the most important, and that's custom conversions. We have to set that up first before we even go and run the ad, but I'm going to show you an example right now with the, with the simple custom, custom audiences, and I'll just use traffic as an example. So as I, as I smash that green button and I come in here and I actually run an ad, um, let's just go through this just to get to the ad set level. Here's where you would include or exclude your custom audiences okay it's in the ad set level it's what i call tab number two the second pillar you have three steps right three tabs new the campaign tab the ad set tab and the ad okay so in the second tab you scroll down scroll down and it's right here so i can click and it'll drop down my two custom audiences now those are the only audience audiences i have that's why you'll see it in the all but as you continue to build this list, you just click on custom audiences, and again, there's your audiences. So in this case, what I would always do is I would always include landing page visitors, okay? Landing page visitors only. I want to always retarget them. I want to always get in front of them because, again, those are people who have yet to opt in, but they've shown engagement. 
and 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 I track them. That's an audience I want to I want to I want to continue to leverage that audience and and get people to opt in. Okay, keep showing them future ads. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to exclude. I'm going to click on the exclude button, and I'm going to exclude right here. I'm going to click, and I'm going to exclude my leads. Those are people that do not need to continue to see my ads. So I will always exclude leads um, to make sure that my, my ad cost isn't you know, through the roof. I don't want to be burning money for the hell of it. I don't want to be showing ads to people who already opted in. It, 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 it burns my wallet as far as burning money, spending way more in ads that you need to. And it even freaking annoys people when they keep seeing your stuff and they've already engaged or they already they already fulfilled it they already opted in or they already bought it so many people man it's so crazy because i follow just like you guys are you know coming across my channel maybe maybe the majority of you guys are beginners at this stuff you know we all have people that we're learning from so i i thank god for every single one of you every single one of you man i thank god for every single one of you that are watching this video right now man and and i i truly mean that from the from from the bottom of my heart man i'm not joking because you guys could be watching any other damn video right now and you're freaking watching mine, right? And hopefully you're learning. So if you're learning, please click like. If you're learning, please click like. But I also learn from other people as well, right? We all have people we're learning from. And it blows my mind when I buy something and that person continues to show me the same ad on that thing. And, and, and I don't want to throw out names, but I can throw out a couple very specific names right now that you guys will all know. These are, these are big, big marketers. And I'm like, shit, you guys know this stuff. Why am I seeing your ad again and again and again and again when I bought your shit last month? Like, why are you not segmenting me? Why are you not segmenting these custom audiences? What is going on? Like, I'm learning from these people, and it's like, dang, you guys are dropping the ball. I don't know what it is, but I noticed that for sure a lot. I noticed that a lot on YouTube. Um, I'll buy someone's stuff, and then I'll continue to see their YouTube ad. I'm like, dude, I already bought your stuff. So not only is, it, is, it, is, is the marketer spending more money than they need to, but it starts to annoy the lead. It starts to annoy the customer, right? Because you keep showing them the same shit when they've already bought it. So it's like you want to always exclude. This, this exclusion could be leads or this exclusion could be customers, right? People who already bought your product, make sure that you're excluding them. And, and if I go to your webpage and, and I buy the product, let's say, let's just use this as a random example. I click here, buy now. I click there and let's just say it was a product you're, 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 uh, you know, selling a Shopify product or whatever, or you have a random, you know, product on your, on your website and I buy it, right? Let's say I click, I put in my credit card number, I buy it. I then go to the thank you page. Thank you for ordering. Your product will be shipped right away, right? That's a very specific page. That's what you would build it around. So you'd grab that thank you for purchasing page and you do the same thing. So you come in there, come in here, create the custom audience and rather than naming it leads, it would be purchase or it'd be customers, right? Same thing, same thing applies, man. So hopefully this made sense, you guys. This is how to set up a Facebook custom audience. Um, you wanna include the most relevant ones, you want to exclude the most relevant ones and you want to continue to retarget, man. That's what this is all about. It's not, it's not about running one ad. It's all, all about staying consistent and running weekly ads, aka daily ads, but retargeting the right people. All right, guys. So hopefully that made sense. If you got any value, you guys, please click like. Draw me a comment below and subscribe to the channel. If you're not subscribed, man, please subscribe. I'm dropping fire like this every damn day on social media marketing, Facebook advertising, and really just day in the life giving you golden nuggets and giving you guys tutorials and giving you what I'm doing daily. Like this is stuff that I'm doing. Like I'm setting this up for a buddy of mine. Shout out to Dan. Um, I'm setting up his entire account and, and just setting up these basics and, and just documenting it, documenting it as I go. So if you like this type of stuff, man, hang around, subscribe. I promise I won't let you down. Drop me a comment. Let me know what else you guys want to learn. Social media marketing. I've been building an agency since 2016. I've gotten hundreds of customers on social media when it pertains to all this stuff right here. Hundreds Hundreds came in through the direct message method um, that I that I that I've pretty much mastered um, since 2016. I've gotten hundreds of clients all from the DM. Um, 
offering social media marketing services and Facebook advertising. So if you're into that type of stuff, man, subscribe. Again, hit the like um, and, and, and smash that bell for notifications. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next video. Don't miss the next one because the next one's going to be custom conversions. And without that, we can't even move forward. So that's the, miss, that's the last and, and um, final piece of this four series, four, four, yeah, four, four video series. And hopefully you guys, again, are getting value. I'll see you on the next one. Over and out.